some places, the soil is hard, unyielding. Some have called it cruel, a land of sudden mountains, of desert plateau, and sometimes the green of valleys. The hills hide our villages, the stone huts cling to the slopes as we cling to the land for living. It is a hard life. Water is still drawn from the village well. The church is the center of things. The good lands, ranches, and vineyards possessed by the grandes, as they have been for centuries. The campesinos, we peasants, work the land for them, as our fathers and grandfathers before us. For centuries, that is the problem of Spain. She is old. We measure time here by the seasons, by the saints' days. We have no clocks. It is of little consequence. Let only the land produce. Let the beer and yeah be good and cold. And that there is no great sickness. And we are happy. Yet, this is a strange time. There are those who are not so happy. Men of the cities chafe at the order of things. They are passionate men, firebrands, flickering change, much change. And these too are Spain, crying, this is the 20th century. This is the new age. And that is the problem with Spain. She is an old woman with restless children. But let me say just this. We have lived the bittersweet life without change, as sheep in the hands of shepherds. Now the king no longer wishes to rule. Landowners grasp at greed. There are ideas from Italy, Germany, Russia, that make men want to change their lives. It is the year of our Lord, 1936, and Spain is in great turmoil. There are wolves in the world, and so the sheep are strained. Yeah. 
change coming. Look at them. They take your Spain and then run off to France. Let them run. Join us and join the new age of Mars! Not of the North and not of Spain, though Spain has helped us. The Cortez has legally returned our land. We will not see it stolen again. We are Hidalgo, as are you, Asturian, Castilian, Nivarese, and Basque. This of the politics is absurd. We want no politics, only what is ours. Help us. The army has protected you, because it kept you safe from marauders and the beasts of the world. Now there are too many disturbers in this land. They run the streets like young bulls, charging every which way. There is a movement afoot to secure this country. It has worked already in Italy and Germany. Soon it will work in Spain. Before this goes further, we will act. And you had better be with us. Traitor! Traitor! Look, even the king does not act as a king. He has declared for republic, and look who comes to power. Socialist. I spit on your mother. Fascist! It is you who rips this country! Leave the Lagarquia down with rulers! Arriba, España. There once was much love in Spain. Old men stood to be found, and women's chatter at the wells. Now, there is a great silence in the markets, even in the wine shop. But not in the cities. To them, I come to strike and shout with passion. Since the loud roam the streets, their voices hard and careless as grinding teeth on a bullet. The king had empowered the Cortez and stopped being a king. The Cortez was a flock of idealists. And so came the elections, and more elections, and then strikes, and then mobs, and the murder of men. Then came Franco came with his foreign legions like a great thundering bull. Cities became blood and the sand. It was not war, but great chaos. Neighbors killing neighbors, street killing street. There was no law. There was only the gun. In a war between brothers, there are choices. We, we made our choices. choices. We're hard. Cruel, if you like. We had to be cruel. Our, our brothers, brothers were, were no longer our brothers. brothers. We of the hills simply lived on. Farmed land hoping this blight would pass. Others had. We knew nothing of war. Only of land and sheep and the sometimes predator. War is for the cities, we thought. We are of the earth, we thought. Who can burn the earth? And in the cities, madmen ran the streets. Afonso, keep passing! White skin fool, what else has passed on this corner? Nothing, Alfonso. A few communistas a while ago, but nothing. So what is passed of any importance? Uh, see, si, nada. Only... <coughs> the white skin idiot. Pass the folks up. Carlos, the half-wit, eh? Now you women are a slut. Hey, you say it, Carlos? You say it again? You uh, lose your tongue! Uh, Ecobar, eh? Won't fight the slut, eh? Shut up, woman. From the meal's tail comes true. You, Baraco, drunkard, you dare call me a. Huh? Huh? And in this war, by it, you tell me you're not in great making of money. And all this silver comes from baking bread, huh? Here, make ready for your night, Papa. Best not see your employers. Hey, it's my turn. Shut up, Cabron. Or I'll turn the Spitfire loose. <laughs> Ah, I love this war. Mierda. No, truly, woman, it is the greatest of wars. No Dan Guarda again the way. They're all too busy killing each other. And no bosses saying get to work. They've all run up to France. Now that life is done, woman, this is the life of it. Take it. See a wine shop to nasty glass and be drunk for days. Need love? Take any woman you wish. Almost. Food? All you need and more for nothing. I love this war. Pass the wine skin. It will end, Alfonso. It always ends. Then comes the back to work. 
I do not like your work. It gives me the back Silence. pain. Someone comes. Good night, woman. Quickly. Hola. Salud, camarada. Which way to the headquarters of Los Republicanos? Who asks? A loyalist, man. You are a fascist. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and do we appear as vesticiosos, huh? Is there money scattered at the feet? No. See so any gold in the teeth? Any rings or pearls or guns? Mule's ass! And this what fights in España today? Hey, stupid comunista! Pay him no heat, comrade. He's sitting on the head, huh? Have some wine. Kiva? All I asked was the place of the headquarters. We know not. Then the trade union center. Vamos, people, begin. We care not. I see. I speak to Leva. Nay! Nay, you speak to the true anarchistas. We do as they say, and we govern ourselves. And piss on any other. We take what we want. We want so little. And we're told it's rightfully ours. And so, we are the government of this particular corner. You care nothing for Spain, for what is happening. We are simple people. Nothing. Now vamos. <sighs> I waste breath on you. Arriba la república. Arriba mierda. Now, Alphonse, do we keep to the governing of this corner, or do we liberate the cafe down the street? Oh! Arriba la corner! Shut <laughs> up, fool. I say to the wine shop, Spain is dry. <laughs> in the cities, there was always plenty of beer and cigarettes, but no food. When everything is broken down, how does food get to the people? The people hunted cats. Friend had a talent for hunting. He could pounce on the cat from 20 yards. Now that night, there was boil. Chicken on the menu. Sol di sombra. Light and shade. Spain divided into a hundred Spains. Every village a battleground. Then came la limpieza. The cleansing. Court martials took minutes to condemn a man to death. These patrol controls did not bother with trials, just shooting people in the streets. Who knew there could be such murder in the hearts of men? My country became a paradise for the informers. Each day, people would come in from the fields, their arms full of the day's toils, not knowing they had begun their last journey. They were one moment here, the next gone, leaving soup untouched on the table or tools still swinging from their hooks. My brother was arrested, given a summary trial. It took five minutes. Then they marched him out to the patio where they were killing each one. I have made other patios filled with the blood of those who killed him. I will not stop until I kill them all. And if they are dead, I will dig them up. And I will kill them again! Those who could gather their belongings and tried to get out, by truck, by train, by horse or on foot, and fled to the frontier. But there were those who could not leave. No money or families caught in the maelstrom. And there were those made one last choice to stay. I thought I married a good man. He was a good man until all this started. Then he began to attend meetings. 
your papers. We're almost at the border. I never should have washed the blood from that shirt. I should have left it to crust so my husband couldn't wear it. And now, a different Spain. A Spain filled with columns of marching men. Franco in the south, Yegemola in the north. And with them came their advisors, Italians, Germans. So the Republicans looked to the Russians. And all of these wolves were pleased to enter our land. Predators. Then came the idealists, the internationals. One man called them Los Toristos de Guerra the tourists of war. No, 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 machines came to Spain. The war became a war. Mola wheeled north, slaughtering in a blitzkrieg of steel. His machines went for Madrid, for the heart of the loyalists. Men tried to stop his mechanical army and were butchered like sheep in his wake.
I came from Canada to fight with the internationals. Just outside Madrid, we held our lines. We were pinned down by machine gun. I wish now I hadn't come. John Roberto, if Makina is what you acting me a trap, I'll stay low and one. I have no grenades left. Ah! I'm just talking about helping. Roberto, he's back. Ah! Leave the bandage. Ah! No. John Roberto, you leave me and stay. Huh. Not this, brother. We'll carry you. No, it's useless. Ah! We'll carry ah! you. I have to die. No, brother. Oh, see. I feel death in the fingers now. You will get help. Hey, doctor. No, listen. I will take the Makina. You're a wounded man. I still have breath. You cannot do this. Come on. This is for the Republica. I can't let you do this. You're wasting yourself. This is a small thing, but this is a thing I can do. This is crazy. Roberto, please be silent. This is for Spain. Are you ready, brother? See. Si. Quickly, before I weaken. into him and riddled him, but still he kept on. Espana! The fascists of the gun panicked in the end and fired wildly, or else he never would have made it. But he did, and he fell on the gun, and it stopped. Only a Spaniard would die like that. Now we attack Ramon! Attack! Thanks. 
first heard of it, did not know enough to recognize how terrible it would be. Thus, it came to us. It trans our river and muddied our hills. The hot wind from the south, a steel, brutal wind, and we felt the sting of it. Pass the cheese, Mother. I'm hearing the stomach talk to me. All this complaining. You think I never feed you men? Save some for Maria. And would you care for this cheese, sweetest? See, si, Grandpapa. My tummy too speaks. And what does this wondrous tummy have to say, eh? Does it speak of good weather for the harvest? No, Grandpapa. It says it loves cheese. Not the weather. But what is this of this cheese, Guapa? Do not tease the child, my dear. She's hungry. See, Papa, the cheese. My tummy shows for the cheese. Then the cheese, it shall have, sweetling. So when it comes, Pasqua, it's not. Yes, be quiet now. Let me do the talking. Sit down, Maria. You tell, friends. How goes it? You, old man. Your Honor, a fine day, is it not? What are you doing here in this place? As you can see, we be you one Emilio Largo? No, sir. Do you know the man? No, sir. I haven't heard him. You seem passing this way. You are sure you do not know this man? No, sir. But might I inquire as to what the man has done? He is a guerrillero, a criminal against the national government. But what is it that he has done? Come on, Tom. Be quiet, woman. Largo is a terrorist. You are seen coming through the village below here. And why are you so concerned for him if you do not know him? But, Grandpa! Go and play, Maria. You are hiding something. I hide nothing. I do not know what him. your loyalty, said Hidalgo. Show me your papers. No. I've been listening. I just came for a picnic, you see. I have no politics, sir. I am a farrier. That is all. A metal worker. There is need for metal workers. With whom do you serve? There is no one I serve, sir. Truly, then I induct you officially to the ranks of the Nationalist Army. Now you serve me, Viejo. I serve no one, sir. You refuse, sir. I am but a simple worker, sir. All I have is my family. As I have said, I have no politics. There is one politician even you must know. Your Honor, please! <laughs> Goodbye, old man. dead. Everyone had such stories. Sons <coughs> being shot in the cold glare of the truck lights. Children strangled in the stinking alleys. A sister mutilated. Even I have my story. I am Emilio Larco, and I watched my own father die.
peak time now. You watch it closely. Spain is two countries, two arms, cruel camps, grenades from rooftops, schoolyard battlegrounds, no intelligence, only technology. There is no water. men who love giving death. But passion has left our men. They are tired, hollow. When the passion dies, so does humanity. There are new types of flames, artillery, and tactics called carpet bomb. It has become a game of chess. And we are stupid, brutal pawns. And where is the church amid this part? 
barbarity. The communistas say God is dead. They take good people and make them believe it. The Pesticiosos promise church power. And so our bishops become grasping politicians. And the church becomes a fascist. The Pope is an Italian. The Spaniard is dying. And God, I think sometimes, is a German. Some say that this war is inhuman. Innocence! All war is inhuman. This war is a lesson. The Spanish die like beasts. But what are a few Spanish peasants to the challenge of science? And what is Spain but a great experiment? Nod on the mask. Nazi armor ground us into our soil. Artillery blasted our earth to dust. And jackboots tramping, rolled away on the wind. There was no dignity to it. Yet still, we had not plumbed the depths of the wolf. We will defeat these peasants! We will obliterate their hearts! Saturation bombing! Let nothing be left of the past. Let nothing remain of Gernica! And on the day of our Lord, a Monday, in the month of April, the year of God, 1937, the Nazi condor struck. A market town, far from battle, filled with farmers and women and children and sheep. <coughs> and the church bells rang a warning. <laughs> then Heimkel bombers and stupid dive bombers cut the sun again. It was the great droning moment. And then they bombed and bombed and bombed us. Then the stupid turned and streaked the streets Men flew limbs in the air, babies riddled, horses burning, sheep screaming, and fire, and great earth rents in terror. And more came, and more, and more, in great groaning waves, spitting fire and mutilation. For three hours, they roared in, creating us a slaughterhouse, making timelessness and the peace of my people. Their machines ripped the flesh and blood from us and left nothing, not a, a shell. comes a time when there is the great nothing, when the human spirit and the passion and the greatness of the soul is dust, and we are reduced. It is then we feel it. <laughs> 